So it has been a very long time, ladies and gentlemen, and oh boy, doesn't time just fly by since I've sat down here and extensively spoken about Jeffrey Marsh, a familiar face, right? I believe the last time I did is when he uploaded a video calling for feminists to unite with XYZ community. And I said at that time, you know, it doesn't really make too much sense. You can't really put those two things in the same sentence for obvious reasons. But as I'm sure most of you will remember, the time when everybody, me included, was speaking about Jeffrey Marsh quite a bit is when he was getting a lot of social media attention for the content he used to create a lot of backlash you know we've all seen the videos they would start off with hey kids and it would proceed with some terrible advice advice nobody should be listening to from things like i don't know boys and girls don't exist to encouraging a separation from the family however when a content creator gets into a lot of trouble and they have a huge platform as does jeffrey marsh and not the trouble jeffrey marsh was involved in but just in general when a content creator says something they shouldn't have they've done something they shouldn't have and they've caused a lot of controversy most of the time you see an apology video they sit down and they say this is why i did all of this stuff and they start crying etc etc however in jeffrey marsh's case there has been no video addressing the videos that got him into a lot of trouble, no accountability taken for those videos, and no reasoning as to why he thought they were appropriate. And those are questions many people want answered. Instead, it has been avoided, and we now have him addressing haters in a very bizarre and Jeffrey Marsh-like way. Take a watch. I'm going to still say it. Jeffrey Marsh is a p Oh, well, you don't like it? Tough. Tell him to stop targeting kids then. I, I can hold your pain. What I assume, uh, what I project is going on is that you are in a lot of pain and it's very easy to blame me for your pain. And I'm very sorry that you're in pain. And I wanted to let you know that throughout my life, I have seen a lot of pain, I've been around a lot of pain, I've experienced a lot of pain. And uh, I can be a sponge for you. I can take your pain. I don't mind. Schools in the UK are warning parents about Jeffrey Marsh. And this is something I absolutely welcome because his influence is spreading worldwide. And I believe that Jeffrey Marsh is one of the most dangerous and evil people. I wish you peace. I really do. Um, one of the beautiful things about being trans is that it has taught me perseverance. And hating your way through life is not a recipe for perseverance. And it's also not what you as a human being deserve. And that addiction to hate, you know, you, it feels really good to hate me. And then that craving starts again. It doesn't actually hit the mark. I wish you detox. <laughs> I truly do wish you peace. So some very interesting things were said there, right? And the one thing you can pick up on, regardless of what those two people said, because it's clear as day, is Jeffrey Marsh is blaming everybody else. He's still not taking any accountability. He's not addressing why they're saying these things, right? He's just sat there saying, oh, they have all the issues. I can never be in the wrong. It's not my fault, even though I was the one that created that content, nobody else. And as we all know, we live in a victimhood society where nobody has to take the blame for anything. Nobody has to take any accountability and that probably goes for the schools as well you know jeffrey marsh is probably sat there thinking well if schools were warning parents about the content i was creating well it's the school that's in a lot of pain you know it's the school that has the issues even though it was me that was creating the content you know it's nothing to do with me it is always the same jeffrey marsh has purposely chosen those videos to respond to because he knows he'll get sympathy from his audience which you know his audience are like stevie wonder they can't see the content he created and the issues with it but he knows he'll get sympathy from them because you'll never see Jeffrey Marsh respond to somebody asking all the questions people want answered, right? People want to know why did he think that content was appropriate? Why did he think it was okay to address younger generations and say the stuff he was saying? Why did he think it was okay to tell boys and girls and effectively confuse many boys and girls out there potentially by telling them boys and girls don't exist? Why did he think it was okay with somebody with a huge platform encouraging separation from families, right? And there are plenty of other questions you could ask 
but you would see no response because as we all know, there is no justification. Anybody with any common sense can see that. And for anybody who doesn't remember the videos that were going viral at the time, and they're still discussed today, by the way, but here is just a little example. Take a watch. If you need a family, you can come hang out with me. They may not see the real you, but that does not mean that you're not real. I love you very much. I'm going to go cry <laughs> with love. Hi, kids. There is no such thing as a boy or a girl, and I can prove it. So gather around the family, the parents, everybody, answer my questions. You either say boys or girls. Who's usually taller? Oh, boys? Okay. But you've met some short boys, right? You've met some tall girls. So usually boys are taller, but not always. Okay. Who likes the color pink? <clears throat> girls? Okay. Um, but you've met girls who don't like pink. And you met boys who do like pink, so usually girls like pink, but not always. Everything you can think of that makes a boy or makes a girl is usually, but not always. And some of them are not even usually. Where does that leave you? Free. You get to like what you like. You get to be who you are. Maybe you're even like me and you're not a boy or a girl. I kind of wish I didn't actually do that, if I'm going to be honest, the more I think about it, because now I've got to go back in the editing process and rewatch that clip. Pray for me, but it does just show you, right, what you can get away with saying, depending where you lie on the political spectrum, because on TikTok and on other social media platforms, I have seen countless conservatives being suppressed, even having their accounts taken down for simply saying two plus two equals four. For example, a man is a man and a woman is a woman. So clearly the answer that people want normalized is two plus two equals five. And what that tells me is if I sat down here and other people sat down in their videos and said, well, guys, boys and girls don't exist and repeated the same things that Jeffrey Marsh does in his videos, the algorithm would push the content to the moon. And to me, that speaks volumes. It does make you ask a lot of questions, right, on what algorithms want you watching and not watching. And just like Jeffrey Marsh, the answers would be avoided. But leave your thoughts down below, ladies and gentlemen, on these videos Jeffrey Marsh made. What are your thoughts on his response to them? I would love to know. If you have enjoyed today also, please, for me, make sure to leave a like rating. As I said earlier, you know, a couple of minutes ago, the stuff I'm saying will probably get this video suppressed because I'm not saying the right thing. So make sure to leave a like rating. It really helps out the video. If you're new as well, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 60k and I know we can smash out that milestone. Turn on bell notifications also so you never miss a video. Share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace.